Adam Uze has just been appointed as Richmond's new head coach and I have some things to say about it. So let's get into it. Okay, so since entering the league uh, as a head co as a coach, Uze has achieved an illustrious career with lots of credentials to his name. He coached under Hawthorne, under Clarko, and would have been with Dimmer in those premiership years, and then moved back to Melbourne in 2020, I believe, um, where he obviously was integral in that premiership and those top four finishes. I am really excited about Uze as a candidate or as the head coach for Richmond because you look at teams like Collingwood and GWS, um, like Craig McRae comes into the league and they finish in a prelim the year, the, uh, the, that year. And then Kingsley now has managed to get the G-Men into a prelim final after their list was seemingly depleted. They had Hopper and Taranto moving to Richmond and um, since my last video they have both enjoyed great seasons. What I will say though is that I am a bit petrified of our draft stocks um, because we're entering a time where we may be needing to rebuild and we've just sold the whole market to get these two players. Koch and Rewalt retiring. Um, we've got some holes in our list. We've been linked to Kaczynski, um, but honestly, I think we should just hit the draft. Let's not do anything stupid and work with what we've got and see where Uze can take us. Um, I saw that Buckley, Nathan Buckley was uh, integral in the coaching search, which I thought was funny seeing as I've resented the man ever since he was the coach of Collingwood. Um, to be fair though, I, I have enjoyed his, um, his special commentary and his media personality since, because he, uh, he does have a good football brain, but um, I just thought that was funny to see such a hated rival of Richmond being a vital piece in their head coach search. Um, it has been a bit of a hiatus from me. Um, there's been a lot going on since I um, had a bit of a, a break from the YouTube thing. Obviously school and studies get in the way sometimes, but I, um, but obviously Dimmer was, uh, left the club after that Essendon game and to be honest I, I I have nothing but respect for Dimmer he was an amazing coach and he did everything he could for that club but I do think that it's a bit of a sour leaves a sour taste in us fans mouths when you had a coach like Kingsley who was ready to go, you're, you're still contracted and you decide to go again and then you give up when it's too tough halfway through the season, which is fine. I was completely accepting of that. But then to hear that he goes and signs a six year deal with Gold Coast, oh, let me tell you now, next year we, we better bring the heat against them. I do not I mean I always liked Gold Coast as a team because I I just you know I felt bad for them always being the laughing stock of the the league but these last few years with Gold Coast my resentment for them always having to play at Marvel and losing Mabby or Chol, um, Brandon Ellis I have started to foster a bit of resentment for them but I think that Dimmer, if he knew he was going to leave, should have done it before the season started so we could have gotten Kingsley in. Because look where he's got the Giants right now. And I really hope the Giants beat Collingwood because I cannot stand to see Nick Dacos and the crew in a grand final being absolutely lauded by the AFL. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, a tough few years for us fans, I think. Um, we 
we'll likely probably have to start to rebuild a little bit, unfortunately. But we've got some good young players coming through the ranks. I don't know how I rate players like Bauer, um, Dow, and those of that like, but we do have a core nucleus starting to develop with Judson Clark. Sonzi didn't really play too much this year, nor did Gibkus due to injury, but they've shown promise. Tyler Young had a really good year, which I did not, ex did not expect from him. Um, also players like Balta, who had a really underrated season, Bolton and the like. We're gonna be okay, but it's gonna be a tough period. And to be honest, we actually had a, like, I feel like we were better than our record suggested. I mean, definitely there were absolutely shocking games, like the Bulldogs game, for instance, and, um, Games like the Melbourne game, we were leading in our final quarter and then we got absolutely blown out, which I was lucky enough to attend. Um, but who knows, maybe Uze will rally the troops and uh, get us to a prelim, which seems to be the trend. Um, let me know what you guys think, but and I know this video again is not very high quality production, but I wanted to get something out there, um, break the news and hopefully get back into the swing of things with this YouTube thing. Um, probably going to be a bit quiet for the next few months due to studies, but after that I'm a free man and it can really start to commence. So if you're still around, um, the few of you who are hanging around, um, hit to the comments and I'd love to have a chat with you about the tags and how they're going, what your thoughts are. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one and go the Tigers.